in the last five years, I've realized that my father has started to really lose his memory. For the first couple of years, we weren't even aware of it because, you know, it just seemed normal. You just kind of got used to it that, you know, okay, forgot one thing or another thing. But when it got to a point where, you know, things that he taught me as I was growing up, I had to teach him. It was really kind of disheartening to see that happening, you know, understanding that like someone that I followed and, and looked up to, I suddenly had to teach him the same things he taught me. When my dad was uh, diagnosed with uh, Alzheimer's disease, uh, it came at a time where he was already retired and his activity level was very, very low. You know, being in technology, I've actually started to create apps. I needed to create something to give him something to do and keep him busy. So by creating something that can give him time to really look and feel and play and exercise his brain versus just watching TV is something I really wanted to do. When I see my husband using the Clever Mind app, uh, it encourages me because he is physically very healthy and needs to be occupied. And it's wonderful to see him interacting with this app. It's, it gives me great pleasure. It, it's good that he can keep his mind active. What we've done with this system is we've tried to make it very easy to use and very intuitive for elderly people. So it's very big button, you know, it's voice interaction. What is your name? I am Myra, your intelligent robotic assistant. What can I help you with? So it makes it not only uh, simple to use, but very fun to use, and it'll keep them entertained and it'll keep them interacting with the system. I'm excited that my brother's developing an application that will help my dad, that will slow down the decline of his cognitive ability. And this would really help in his quality of life as well as uh, the family's quality of life as, as we have to take care of him as he goes through this. With patients who have um, this disease process, it can take anywhere from one to four uh, family members to assist with their plan of care and this application can provide not only an increase in quality of care, but also peace of mind for the family member to know that um, while they're away, their um, loved one has the ability to be stimulated in some way utilizing this app. So one thing that we wanted to make sure that we do is be able to collect data based on whether it's a male or a female, or their approximate age or age range, and be able to understand and see and what their capability is to start with right when they start using the system, and then be able to track it over time and see if they're, what kind of improvements they're making based on the type of assessments that we're working on. This will absolutely improve his quality of life, which improves my quality of life. Uh, so I'm looking forward to having him use it on a daily basis. So we've had multiple meetings with industry leaders who have validated the system that they believe there is a definite need for um, getting this in front of people to help them and give them a better quality of life and that ultimately will make this a very successful venture. I appreciate everyone's interest in our Kickstarter campaign. If you have any questions or would like more information, please feel free to reach out.